bull T Q Q Q two six two twelve seven fifty three AM Pacific Standard Time. One of the things that we're going to feature that we like buying these dips here because basically you had a left elbow gap down in the SMF platform and you did and it was quite exciting to get the left elbow gap down as it put in its bottoms here. You can clearly see here that you went straight up to a high. Now that was previous day's left elbow. Now you do have on today's date right here on on this half this half bar that's today that's 2 6 of 2012 that's today and you still have a left elbow gap down in the TQQQ bull and then from that you have a teeny bounce it's only 12 cents a line now but it doesn't matter what matters is that you reverse down here so you had nine teenies up here and you had 17 pull back here and you're right at the half bar and we had seen lately within the bull rally where the tqq had that left elbow gap down it recovers it starts with another left elbow gap down yes it's only price diminishing but it is something that we are always being on constant awareness of, of where price exhaustions come into play and one of the behaviors is that you gap down and you do come down here. Now, true price exhaustion would mean that you would break these lows over here from the previous day. This is today's range. This is today's support level in the bull. Now, equities and NASDAQ 100 and other things will follow suit. But we are updating the bull ETF, TQQQ. Green Mountain Coffee has a certain movement, very, very strong support level. It starts the day out today, as you can see, very strong with this diamond support level, okay? And that this is February 6th, that the ranges from the swing low bottom are quite well at 65 and the high is 69.42 and a price spread between the public bid and ask here is for six pennies or so we continue to make a series of higher highs we've gone up 1.37 delta that's 21.86 teenies that's three dollars and 21 pennies at 15 cents a teeny breakout with a double diamond reversal we will be exhausted here we took out the major price resistance at that teeny line at 68.70. So buying the dip and taking the turn, that doesn't move a lot dollar wise, but if you have 500 shares at the bottom, along with the right entry that is, you can easily take out $400 on these trades, or you can get the longer trades. This one was an earnings relationship from last week, and that is a great breakout. All all alert for this one um, MMT's time 7:57 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this is Badu right here and what I'd like to show about today which is here this is February 6th over here but nonetheless it's about these left elbow gap downs and how bull trends actually work and I want my MMT's to know that bottoms will be made for it's 22 cents a teeny but if you take a look it's going to go three it's going to go five it's going to go seven and it's going to go nine guaranteed on that intraday level then on pullbacks it's going to go three it's going to go five it's going to go seven and it's going to go the same distance between that structured mathematical environment between the buyer and the seller and what I would like to show is today's ranges on Badu is that once it made that teeny expansion up here, you can clearly see where the diamond contraction or diamond descending values had played. And you can clearly see what that two teeny, I've given lots of examples to my MMTs and trade management with live entries using 
the two teeny script smf market maker two teeny script before one of the bigger movements take place and they always either go down like that or they break higher up in this case here from the low end if you from the low end of this teeny you can see the two teeny script mmt you can see where the diamonds are in a consolidation it's about learning the rectangular intraday consolidation either breakdown for shorts or breakouts using your platform so basically we have a very nice structured pattern on the whole movement and once again we're looking for opportunities that fail back up here and we're looking for uh, breaking lower lows uh, within this structure that we have upon us today which starts over here and we make the high and that's the reversal but the overall trend of this is weak as far as if you go below 65 and you're currently negative 0.7 it was a great buy off of the bottom at minus 1.35 and then selling back into minus 0.7 nine or seven or eight one see if you're buying down here you're making that spread right now and you'd be selling out at the high but now we're going to look at the actual weakness involved in the actual structure of today today's movement on Badoo. and i'm going to set an alert at 129.95 and i'm going to set rises to 132.65 and that's going to be your channel for now and someone needs to be focusing on it because it's a building weakness in the intraday morning trend it's been one hour and 33 minutes since the opening bell and the update GLD three minute update and one of the things that we're really identifying with our MMTs is how today is february 6 and how we made a lower low from that previous day's low which would have been friday's left elbow gap down we come up but look at the long reversal now within the overall bull trend of the markets and the bull trend of 2012 and even the longer term bull trend of the gld you can tell that you can make a one two three teenies easily off the bottom and there are five teeny ranges they're only 16 cents a teeny so i will help you get the order you get a thousand shares down here and you're selling back to the public right back up here that's the gld that's the gold bugs and the gold bugs have been coming down for quite a few days i can tell you and this is just a three minute snapshot when i actually get into the full delta swing of things which i'm going to do um you can clearly see that your reversals really started over here and you had a gap down of course you have rallies but look at how much lower so you're 171 up here at that short reversal okay but then you're down here now making bottoms that are weak and trends in bull trends bull trends are bouncing off support levels and so once again the broader trends are going to follow certain ways weak trends will go like this strong trends at certain price levels are going to come up off the bottoms gld now we do have a bottom again that what i want to show my mmts is where today's ranges are february today and that we have made we, we have broke down in teeny stages so you've got one teeny two teeny three teenies and you do from this reversal teeny resistance level it's three down now we're one up off of the bottom but we remain weak why because the 10 minutes rolling down now bottoms get put in on weakness and amazon will turn when that blue line flattens out and starts to go like that the high frequency robots will make turns now i can tell my mmts that buying down here at the lower teeny line is a limit order in it's at the low of the day with the stop market but you only want to try 100 shares until these things are made i'll tell you why because then there'll be a point where 
that turn will yield you off of the low, you go up one teeny, two teeny, three teenies. So you got three teenies down, but you would go four teenies, five teenies. So a five teeny breakout intraday is going to be roughly about a dollar eighty six or so. And the th that's on five teenies anyway. And right now it's eight oh nine AM two six two thousand twelve. The bottom is weak, but it doesn't matter. It's how bottoms get put in. So what I have on a interday range is 62. Is that what other MMTs have? I'm going to conclude the mid-morning update. We have uh, bounces. We made the highs at 464, 67. Google bounces off the bottoms. MasterCard, we've been looking at. It was down on the day at 387.16 and bounced. Um, we got trades going off on Amazon. It's putting in lows. Beautiful short sell on Priceline. That's a $6 down move at 547.60 to 540.56. And it's it's putting the bottom in off the lows. It hit our price target at 549 with our MMTs. And I said time to get off board short term there. Uh, CMG made a low at three. Uh, just had tried to make that same low as it did earlier. So we've updated going into the lunch hour period. And I can conclude the fact that the Dow and the retracement in the bull rally is still over bot levels. And the thing about it is that we started the day with top prices getting exhausted in prices and where they have to come back off of the highs. And vice versa is where those prices were running off the lows.